Ladies and gentlemen, welcome officially to the No Lunch Lunch here at the Second Harvest Food Bank. We appreciate all your support through some tough times, but again, so glad to have you back with us. So again, we thank you for being here and all your support. We're here to have a lot of fun, to see some new faces, see some old faces, and really to continue to support the mission that Second Harvest has been doing for the last 40 years. Before we continue with our program, we want to acknowledge the passing of a very special volunteer, Margaret Elliott. Volunteers are the lifeblood of the food bank's work, and Margaret was one of the best. Margaret will be deeply missed by our food bank family and will indeed be remembered for her legacy of feeding people. Our condolences to Margaret family and friends. Welcome to No Lunch Lunch 2022. There has not been this many people in this room for over two and a half years. So how about a round of applause for that? If you've not been here since before the pandemic, the place has changed just a little bit. If you went on a tour before the event started or are gonna join us on a tour after the event, you will no doubt see the almost 16,000 square feet of cooler space that we have added over the last two years to accommodate the influx of fresh food that we now distribute, produce that we buy that is donated and that we grow. Perhaps the most obvious change you saw in the building is when you turned the corner, you saw that beautiful mural on the side of the building. That was painted in 2021, the height of the pandemic. And the faces of the people on the side of the building are actual people that we serve. So our new vision, our dream, and what we work to every day in this food bank is an Orange County with food and nutritional security for all. Working with our board of directors and our senior leadership, we settled on this vision because it truly reflects what we're doing in this food bank every day. In fiscal year 2022, ending in June of this year, this food bank served an average of 332,000 people a month. This is Orange County, guys. This is one of the wealthiest counties in the wealthiest, one of the wealthiest states in the richest country of the world. And more than a quarter of a million people remain food insecure. We did so in partnership with 285 partners throughout the year and um, with the indispensable help of 37,000 volunteer hours, both here in this distribution center where you're sitting and at Harvest Solutions Farm. As Claudia said, I work for the Department of Ed, so I'm all about schools, I'm all about children and families, and we are having this conversation that health and, and nutrition specifically for kids it's not just about their physical development. It is incredibly important for their mental and social emotional well-being. So yes, absolutely, we want cognitive development so that they could learn, so that they could achieve, so that they have academic success, short-term, long-term. But we're also starting to have conversations about the role of healthy eating and quality nutrition on things like their social skills. Nutrition feeds the gut and the gut feeds the brain. So we can't look at our health and our well-being and the health of our children and our families as just physical health, health over here and then mental, social, emotional well-being over here. It is the whole human, the whole child. And as we approach our 40th anniversary year, as you've heard say, it is not a celebration for us. We do not celebrate having to exist for 40 years. However, we commemorate and honor the service of the thousands of volunteers and board members and sponsors and people that have lifted this food bank since its inception in 1983. In commemoration of our 40th anniversary year, we are launching something what we consider to be innovative, a little bit revolutionary, a little bit scary. We are embarking on, the, on an endowment campaign to endow the food bank with a $12 million fund that will maintain the resiliency and the strength of this food bank. It is called, appropriately, Nourish OC, the 40th anniversary campaign of Second Harvest Food Bank. According to Feeding America, one in 11 adults in this county is food insecure. One in eight children, or almost 13% of our children, are or experience food insecurity. 
and probably not surprising but most shocking, food insecurity rates among our communities of color are upwards of about 15% right now, a year out of the pandemic. The need is high and we need you today. I have this really corny sweatshirt and I brought it to share. I can only wear it one month a year and it says thanks plus giving. I stare at this thing November of every year as it hangs in my closet asking me to wear it. And in staring at it, I broke the words down. And I'm like, there's really two parts to that word, right? There's thanks and giving. There's thanks, which is gratitude. And there's giving, which is generosity. And generosity is giving, is gratitude in action. And it is something that all of us can do. If we put our gratitude, which I know so many of you personally, and I know that you, you are people that express gratitude and feel it, if you put it into action, that's a superpower. That is something you can do to affect your community, your Orange County, your neighbors today. I simply cannot thank you enough for all the support you have given this food bank that you've given me personally, and I thank you for being here today. I wish you and your families the happiest of Thanksgivings, the most wonderful of holidays. And if I or any of us can ever support you in any way, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you.